Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for February 19th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Sum Next to 9 Sudoku by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid, and the clues tell us the sum of the digits on either side of 9 in that row or column. So this 14 is telling us that these two digits sum to 14, because the 9 is in the middle. This 5 is telling us that these two digits sum to 5. And a 9 could be on the edge. So, for example, if there was a 9 here, this clue would be telling us that this digit is 6, because it's the only digit next to 9. Um, and those are the rules. Uh, so let's start with this 14. There are only two ways to make 14 in two cells. One of them is 5, 9, but we're using the 9 as the center of this clue. So this must be 6, 8. Uh, 5 could be 1, 4, or 2, 3. Uh, that doesn't tell us a whole lot yet. Um, this 3 clue is forced. Um, we can't have a 9 in one of the corners, because those are already filled. So we can't have just one digit next to the 9. So the only way to make 3 in two cells is 1, 2. And we know where the 1 is, so it must be next to the 9, and the 2 must be next to the 9. And then this clue is resolved with a 4. That's the only cell next to this 9. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight these 9s just so we can see that a little more clearly. OK, same sort of thing with the uh, 5 here. We can't have a 9 in the corner, so we know we have two cells next to the 9. There are only two ways to make 5 and two cells. 1, 4 is one of them. Obviously, we don't have that. The only other way is 2, 3. So we need to use this 3 with a 9. And that's going to place a 6 here. The 15 here is not. Yeah, it is forced. I'm being silly. Uh, we have the same sort of thing going on here. 15, we can't have one cell anyway. 15 is too big. Um, we have two cells summing to 15. There are two ways to do that. One of them is 6, 9, though, and we can't have a 9 next to a 9. So it must be 8, 7 with the 9 here. And that's going to place a 5. And then 13. Um, we can't do 4, 9, because that includes the 9. We also can't do 5, 8 because they're in the corners, so we must have 6, 7. And that's going to place a 3 here. So that's our outside 9s. Uh, you notice the symmetrical pattern there. And let's see what we can do next. That's all the clues except for the middle resolved, so I assume we're going to have some regular Sudoku at this point. Um, looking at this column, we have all the high digits. We need 1 and 4, but they can't go here. So these are 2, 3. And these are going to be 5, 6, 7 in some order. That can't be 6, so that's the 6 placed. We need a 3 and a 6 in this row. And then we need a 5, 7 in the other two cells. Can't have 3, 6 here because of these. These then are going to be 1, 2, and 8. Don't think we can do anything with that. The 3 here resolves 2, 3. I did miss that. That's going to remove 2 from those cells and place it here. So now we know these are 5, 7, 9. These are 1, 4, and 8. All right, down here we need 2, 3, 4, 6. We have 3, 6 here again. So this is 3, 6. This is 2, 4. We have a 4 there. And then these are 1, 7, 8. This is not 1. Here we need 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 5, 8 here. And the 6 looks across to resolve 6, 7. The 6, 8 looks across here to resolve 5 and 8. This is not 2, and because these sum to 3, this is not 3. The 5 here looks up. The 8 also. Uh, these are 2, 3, 4, and we have a 3 there, and a 4, 2 from that 2. 
these are going to be 479. These are going to be 136. That one's not 6 because of the 68. 7 looks across here for 8, 1, and 7. That resolves 5 and 7. These are 259, and this now can only be 2 because of the 59 there. These are 368. This must be the 3. That's going to resolve 1, 4, 7. 1 there. That's not 1, so that's not 4. Uh, these are 6 and 8. Those are resolved from that 8. And that's going to give us 3 and 6 there. All right, across here we need 2, 4, and 9. And here we need 1, 5, 8. Okay, so now we have a 3, 6 pair here. So that's going to resolve 4, 1, 9, 4. 9 and 5. Places a 2 there. This is an 8 here. Uh, places a 5 there. And a 7 there. Across here we have 3 and 7. That's resolved from this 7. And that 3 is going to resolve 6, 3, 6, 3. The 6 resolves 8, 6. 8 and 1, 1 and 4, 4 and 9, 9 and 5, 5 and 2 to finish it off. And that's the solution. Um, let's highlight our 9s so you can see the symmetry here. Um, Bill didn't give us any clues for these 9s, but it's okay. Um, I really like this arrangement of the clues on the outside. Um, gotta give it a little bit of thought why those have to be there. Um, but yeah, let us know how you did in the comments. Um, I enjoyed that one a lot, and I will see you next time.